What is up guys, Zach is back bringing you guys a, another Wi-Fi battle, Pokemon X and Y. Um, and today's uh, battle is against Alko. Uh, his team is, I wouldn't say weird, but it's uh, it's something I hadn't seen in Pokemon X Y yet, which was the the Bat and Passer and the Prankster with the with the the other threats on his team. Um, I just brought some random stuff because I still haven't finished saving all of my pokes. I still have a box of uneven train stuff. However, I got the day out of class today, so that's what I'm doing before stream. So uh, without further ado, let's jump on into this. So um, all right, he. I knew he had a rapid spanner. The thing was, is that I wanted, I really wanted to lead with my Smeargle, and I, w I knew I wanted to get the Sticky Web up at the very least. Um, but he leads with his Greninja. He, I know, he knows he's gonna outspeed me. Obviously, Greninja is much faster than Smeargle, uh, and it takes me down to my Sash. I get up my Sticky Web here, um, or I Spore here rather, um, hoping obviously that I get. Well, I know I get at least one guaranteed sleep turn, so I know I'm going to get at least my sticky web up. However, the issue is is that he's got his Dawn fan still available, and that is a slight issue. Um, but here he switches out, um, not wanting to burn sleep turns, and he just goes straight into his Dawn fan. So I already know that the um, that the rapid spin is coming. He I just threw the Stealth Rocks out on the switch. Um, probably should have just switched out predicting his Donphan to come in, but um, I switch out into my Greninja knowing that he's going to Rapid Spin, so I'm going to try and kill this thing off as fast as I can, and maybe if I get lucky I can I can pull that Smeargle out to at least get a Sticky Web up or some, some Stealth Rock. So here he switches out his Donphan, so I predict that he's going to send in his uh, Rotom, so I go for the Grass Knot here. Um, but here you'll see that this Rotom is, um, just eats that up pretty much. It only does about 50%, and that was a crit and life orb, so I know I'm going to need at least two more Grass Knots to kill this thing. So I go for another Grass Knot, and I'm hoping that he predicts something that, like, maybe I'm going to switch out or something. And he goes for Hidden Power, and I have no idea what Hidden Power this is. I'm Grass, so I'm assuming it was something along those lines. Uh, water grass, something like that, ground, maybe, um, but I don't actually know. He sends in his shiny ninjask as I go for a grass knot. It, he wanted to, for some reason, he wanted to keep that thing alive, um, maybe as fodder. Um, so here, I, I I wanted to see what kind of set he was. Um, obviously, I knew he was going to run protect. I don't know why I didn't just switch out here, but he protects, gets a speed boost up. And I think my question here is, I was thinking to myself, is he going to be a baton passing one? Is he going to set up a sword dance and try and sweep me with his ninjas? What's he going to do? So I send in Neil, uh, my diamond furfru, and he sets up a substitute. And at this point, I'm thinking, okay, he's definitely going to be a, a baton passer. It's going to happen. So I know that he cannot touch me right now at all. Like, there's nothing he can do right now. So I eat up that X scissor. 24 damage, and that wasn't even cotton guarded. That was a stab X scissor. I just ate that up, no problem. So I cotton guard. He gets his his third speed boost, I think it is, while he's still behind a sub. And he now he baton passes. And at this point, I'm like, crap. What's he gonna baton pass into? I gotta break this up. So here, I believe I just went straight for wild charge, and he bat he baton passes into his freaking Mawile. And at this point. I'm like, I just feel absolutely screwed. Okay, now I go for return here, just trying to get as much damage off as I can to try and break the sub. And then it's his Mega Mawile to top it off. So he's got a Mega Mawile behind the sub, and I'm kind of thinking to myself, I'm not in a good position. He's got a sub, he's got speed boosts. Um, even though I still outspeed uh, his... <laughs> I still outspeed his Mega Mawile. I know it's like slow as hell, but I do. He hits me with Brick Break, and it does nothing after plus three Cotton Guard. Like, this thing is like one of my favorite pokes right now, Furfru, with weakness policy. It's an absolute monster. Um, so I here he puts me up to plus one since I was minus one Intimidate, and I know that I can at least take out his Substitute. So I at least eliminated that 
I know that, like, there's not going to be much I can do to this thing, but I have to, like, I can't switch out because I don't want him to get up another substitute, and so I'm just going for wild charge to do as much damage as I can. Um, um, he goes for another brick break. It should clean me out here, or pretty close to it. Yeah, cleans me out here. Um, so Neil, Neil did a good job at least um, getting rid of the setup here. Um, so I sent out my Diggersby. Diggersby, though, he's such a threat. He's such a threat. Gosh, like, so here, I knew he wasn't going to keep in his Mawile, so I just go for the Stone Edge. Uh, or, no, I didn't know. I thought he was, I think I just went for the safe play, because I thought he was going to. Um, I have normal gem on this quick attack, because I don't have some of the items still. Um, cleans out the Rotom, no problem. Um, so, that was cool that he just fathered that off. Um... So now he sends out his Halloweeny, and for some reason it didn't click that he was going to will o wisp me. Um, I had things to take it. I have special attackers that could take it, but for some reason nothing clicked that he was going to will o wisp me. I think, I think it's because I just didn't like I was. It was late, and I just wasn't thinking. But I don't want to blame that. Uh, so I'm just firing off earthquakes, and these are some massive damage earthquakes. Some massive, massive damage earthquakes. Um, for being burnt, this thing is just a monster. But he uses recover, and now he's just gonna pretty much stall me out because there, I can't, I can't do anything, and I don't want to switch out anything to take a foul play or to get burned as well. So I'm just kind of just burning turns here with Diggersby, and um, yeah, so pretty much I'm at a point where. He's killing off my pokes, and I haven't made any progress. All I've taken out is his Rotom, and I know his Greninja's asleep, so I know I don't have to worry about that on a first turn, so I'm thinking if I can get him to his to the point where he has to bring in his Greninja and I can set something up, I could win the game. I could sweep with one of my with one of my team or uh, my pokes. Still, again, just firing off uh, Earthquakes, and I go down with to that last bit of burn. Um, thankfully, he... Um, since he's prankster, he recovers first, so I get that last bit of damage off. Um, so I bring in my Greninja. I had a feeling that he wasn't going to stay in, so I predicted Ice Beam here. I'm pretty sure here. Yeah, I predict Ice Beam, and I just hit his Ninjask right in the face. So, score one for me. Um, I knew he wasn't going to want to stay in because I had the Dark Pulse. Um, that takes that out. Clean, clean out. And this is my modest uh, special attacking speed, Greninja. Still, still a pretty, pretty big threat. Um, here, I knew, I knew he was probably going to go for the sucker punch, and I knew I probably wouldn't live it. But uh, I didn't want to chance him going for something like a play rough on a, on a switch. So I know Smeargle is going to outspeed this Mawile. So I know I'm, I'm just going to get up a sticky whip while I can. Luckily, he didn't have anything that could murder me, like. Uh, substitute. If he had substitute or something right here, and he took advantage of it, I would have been full on screwed. But he goes for the brick break. I get up the sticky web, which proves to be pretty, uh, pretty pivotal. So I send in my Staraptor, and kind of a misplay on my part. Um, but I go for the close combat, and it doesn't really do much, to be honest. But I, I kind of thought, for some reason, I thought it was not fairy. It was just steel. But I go for quick attack here, knowing that he's going to go for the sucker punch, so it fails. And then I predict him to go for something else, thinking I'm going to go for quick attack again, and I hit a close combat. So it works out in the end, actually. Um, luckily, I played a little mind game, a little bit of mind games, and I won that battle. Um, a little bit of good prediction, and Staraptor comes out on top. Um, he sends a, out his Greninja that's asleep. And unfortunately, I can't really set anything up because at this point, my Staraptor is pretty much dead. So I just go for close combat and cleans his Greninja just, just clean out. At this point, I'm minus three, so anything that touches me is going to kill me. Um, for some reason, he didn't send out his Don Fan. I was expecting Don Fan Ice Shard at any point, but um, he still hasn't sent it out. Here he goes. He uh, he sends out a Sableye. I think he's trying to burn me here. Yeah, he goes for Will-O-Wisp, but he misses. He actually misses, and I go for Brave Bird, which is going to clean it completely out, but um, I'm not sure if it mattered. I, I think Reckless Brave Bird from Staraptor would have killed it from a little over half anyway, but I could be wrong. I didn't run any damage calcs on it or anything like that, but either way, I think it mattered. I think it mattered. So 
Uh, it's a double down. I end up dying from recoil, and I go out to my Alakazam, and he has his Dawn fan, and I'm pretty sure this is one on one at this point. And I'm thinking to myself, I have to kill this thing in one shot. Like, what am I going to do? So I Mega Evolve to trace his sturdy, so that way I know he's at least not going to one shot me. He's not going to one shot me at the very least. So I trace his sturdy, and I go for for Focus Blast, praying to the RNG gods that I don't miss Focus Blast. And I hit it, and it doesn't do nearly enough as much as I thought it would do. I thought it was going to do way more. He brings me down to 38 HP, and I'm just praying right now. I'm like, please, unstab, plus stats I get from Mega. Please don't kill me. Please, Arshard, don't kill me, please. And I live it with 9 HP and kill him with a Psy Shock. This was by far one of the best battles that I've had. Um, I I am like so happy to have had that battle with Alco. That was a fantastic battle. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that's it for me for this one. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, do your thing. And I'll see you guys on stream or in the next one. Peace.